Well, the whole um, purpose, hopefully, of the uh, series of little videos I'm going to do is to help um, to give some people some support with the Land Rover Discovery or even the just the 3.5, 3.9, even the 4.2 that run the uh, Lucas um, 14 CUX ECU. Now, now one of the things I bought. Uh, Evidently, originally from the UK, but based in New Zealand now, is one of these uh, what they call the ECU mates. Uh, an absolute fantastic piece of gear because what it actually does is is um, take the guesswork out of what the potential issue might be with your engine. Um, we've all done it. We've all gone Google, Google 3.9 or 3.5 uh, high idle, low idle, rough running, and there's a whole host of information out there which is um, is good to uh, give you a pointer on what might be the issues with some of these uh, machines. Um, they're a good engine, they're over 3.5. Um, I've had them for years and um, you know, moved from carburetor to EFI and the EFIs are a good unit. Um, but like, as with any Land Rover, they always have the little quirks here and there. Um, for years I sort of messed around with the process of elimination, taking parts out, putting them back in and then finally bit the bullet and bought this little unit here. Uh, got it shipped out to New Zealand and I must say it's a fantastic piece of gear. Um, completely takes the guesswork out and I'll run through how I use the unit and how you can use this unit to sort of identify potential issues. This is uh, one of the last of the Discovery ones, uh, which I'd say um, uh, was probably one of the best discoveries they built um, for, for numerous reasons it's not full of gadgets not full of um, flashy electronics and things and quite easy still a, a nuts and bolts or spanner man sort of uh, vehicle to work on um, this has had the uh, catalytic converters removed from it and has also changed the what they call the uh, tune resistor which I'll do a little bit about as well just to uh, expel the mist but just briefly running over the engine um, typical problems that can uh, run uh, to, uh, can lead to rough idle is um, vacuum advance unit here. Um, ordered that again from a guy in the UK. I'll give you some details on it there. Replace that. Um, dodgy uh, distributor cap, rotor arm, leads, plugs, and things like that. So um, the ECU mate won't tell you if these units aren't working properly or not. But what it does do is it focuses on the main electronic feeds into the ECU, such as the airflow meter, which we have here, throttle potentiometer, which everyone you hear talking about, and round the back as well, which you see a lot of discussions on, is the um, uh, idle uh, control uh, valve. Um, also, I told you what your, yeah, your fuel's doing, your fuel pump's doing, and a couple of other units. So well, one important unit, amongst others, is this little thing in here which manage, uh, men, uh, measures the temperature of your fuel uh, and generally what can happen is if this unit fails when the engine is hot sometimes it's difficult to start because it's not changing the pulses fuel pulses in the injectors uh, the other unit that it locks onto is the engine temperature gauge which feeds into the ECU which is a different gauge this one here uh, send a unit to the actual unit that feeds your clock in the back which is that one there it's probably a bit tight to see um, so what I'll do is um, talk through some of the issues that you may come across uh, with these one of them a big one is is um, over a period of time these engines um, uh, the actual plenum chamber as they call it gets dirty inside and it doesn't do it any harm I think to take it off and give it a really good clean and um, gets rid of all the carb in it and stuff like that one of the other things as well is is um, as with anything when you're working through these engines is a process of elimination and um, you have a little vacuum unit at the back here uh, which controls your um, fuel injection system again they can fail not come across one me personally but what generally tends to happen is is that these little vacuum hoses that are all running from the plenum chamber and various bits and pieces can get splits in and leaks and that can cause no end of trouble in terms of rough idling so as you can see on this particular unit I've replaced a lot of these hoses it doesn't do any harm to do so one of the other things I've done is is that it often gets overlooked as your breather unit here that comes off one of the top of your um, rocker box covers leads in that's got all sorts of um, 
pipes that lead into the plenum chamber and this little T-piece inside here has a little orifice in it which can get blocked. It's important to clean it out and make sure you put it back in and check that all your pipes are fitted securely. Um, because uh, sometimes if you have a vacuum leak on these engines it can cause um, poor idle conditions as you move through. Uh, when I first bought this um, car it was hunting um, up and down a little bit and it was a combination of a lot of things really um, various things slightly out of adjustment um, someone had taken the uh, catalytic converters off it uh, but hadn't adjusted the airflow meter to take in accordance with it and also as well they were running uh, what they call the white fuel tune resistor which was a tune resistor originally built for the cats so it was um, the ECU if you will was constantly in alarm and uh, jumping into limp home mode but since then what I've done is replace it with a red tune resistor use a green one or a yellow one um, with it and actually made it myself and I'll do a little clip on that it's really easy to do as long as you know where you're looking uh, from it so anyway let's get back to the ECU what does this unit do well it simply plugs into your um, cigarette lighter and this little unit here then uh, connects into what they call the notebook um, uh, connection thing and uh, again as always with these uh, vehicles it's just knowing where to look in the right place to see where these particular units um, plugs live and um, simply with the, uh, the discovery ones anyway hope this picks it up it's really quite easy to access and um, there's a little cover here uh, which you take off two little screws on the side of it that comes off and um, inside here you end up with a little plug connector what I've done is I've actually put it in a position now where I can easily access it uh, so I can plug it in but that's the unit we're looking at here and um, basically what this does is plugs into the um, ECU mate put it into your cigarette lighter which powers it up then um, it's actually looking into your uh, ECU uh, box and then reading whatever codes are in there and also uh, providing you quite a lot of information um, in terms of temperatures, what the gauges are doing, things like that. I actually think that this little unit's very good for that because um, it's much better than just giving you a code. Uh, what it's actually doing is giving you real life information about the engine and it lets you know um, what the particular sensors are doing, whether they're working and what they're reading and uh, you can use other means then to uh, check that the information is, is accurate. Um, again, it just takes away the process of guesswork uh, from it. Quite simple to use uh, once you get familiar with it. The other thing I will say is that it actually gives, um, on the internet you can download what I would say is a fantastic user manual and uh, going through the user manual it's a step-by-step -step, um, uh, document that um, explains actually what the ECU does and what the various um, components of the uh, sensors feeding into it does and also gives you some scenarios what might be causing possible faults so um, I actually think it's a really good document and credit to uh, Steve there for uh, putting this together and the unit itself uh, I find it really valuable um, uh, piece of equipment so um, like I'm sort of speaking and video in this myself so I'm not too sure how it'll look uh, as we go through but what I'll do is um, this particular unit that I've got here this 3.9 is running really nice now um, I sort of uh, reset the uh, the errors replaced a couple of faulty um, uh, parts that were throwing up codes here one of them was the um, idle uh, the air idle control valve and the other one actually was the fuel temperature sender gauge uh, and that's made a big difference to the machine the other great thing about this unit as well is it actually lets you reset your um, uh, uh, idle control valve and I'll just show you that here in, in here this unit here so sometimes what can happen is you can buy a new unit replace it and your ECU um, um, has trouble uh, adapting to it and it, it can end up causing you more problems than what you've actually started with but what the ECU mate does is let you control this unit and um, preset it adjust it basically mess around get your idling good with it and then reset all the values and then that's it plugged in into the loom uh, simple little unit to replace and I'll run through that um, uh, as part of the clips but what I'll do for now is I'll just plug in the ECU mate and um, start the car up and uh, you can see uh, what information it gives you so 
again what I'll do is just run through it with you that's the plug there uh, from it and that just simply left the part in this hopefully it will get it just simply plugs into this little unit here which we'll do now um, three little plugs in into there and it clips that easy so that's now plugged into the uh, ECU uh, test book socket uh, all you need to do now is then plug your ECU mate in to uh, your uh, 12 volt supply which is here and uh, basically what happens is when you turn your ignition on to start with into your AC C position uh, it just powers the unit up but it won't read anything from the ECU because you've not got any power to it so just goes through a little self test mode uh, it says welcome to ECU mate passed ok and then what it'll do is it says ECU power up test waiting for ECU so it'll come up here in a minute with um, not reading it uh, shortly uh, because I've not got the ECU actually turned on so I just press next um, I'll just turn that on now you can just press run and what it'll do is connect to your ECU and then uh, display any fault codes if there are any uh, showing uh, on your unit um, with it so that's having a think so what it's saying there is fault code display ECU connection error and the reason why it's saying that is is because I haven't actually got power onto my ECU so I've got to actually turn it round so you get the indicator lights as you generally see on your dash unit there you know ABS your airbags oil in this that and the other so now if I go back to the unit again and press retry what I pull in then is it'll go into my ECU and read there and it says uh, no ECU faults have been reported when I first plugged this unit in it told me that the fuel temperature sensor was faulty air idle control valve and a few other things as well like I said before someone had removed